Kung Fu or Gong Fu means mastery through practice. But is one life enough to know Kung Fu? In Sifu, we wanted players to experience training and self-improvement. To convey that, we've made death part of the journey. Through the use of an ancient pendant, players have the opportunity to rise up through death. But it comes at a cost. Each time you get back up, you will age. When encountering a challenging situation, it allows players to try again and to adapt and learn. Death is the opportunity for players to spend their experience points on skills and unlock new ways of tackling their opposition. While that may give you a sense of invulnerability at first, it won't last. The more you die, the faster you'll age. Your life energy is limited, and you will pay for each mistake. Past a certain age, your pendant will not save you anymore. That last death will be the final one. A useful tool that will outlast your demise. The detective board will keep track of all the information you've gathered on your five targets and their respective lairs. Should time catch up with you before you reach the end of your quest, it will help you get back on track with key information about hidden weapons and shortcuts. It will help you achieve your revenge, but it won't replace training and practice. Do you have what it takes to know Kung Fu? In Sifu, you will need to quickly learn how to defend yourself. With the right timing, you can parry incoming blows, allowing you to stop your enemies and counterattack, or to throw them away in any direction. Some strikes will be too strong to block or deflect, and you will need to evade the blows. You can lean and duck to avoid high attacks, and jump to avoid low hits. Your best defense remains to strike first, with a panel of attacks and techniques with different properties, such as pushbacks, knockdowns, or stuns. Your attacks will decrease the balance of your opponent, even if they block your strikes. Parrying their attacks will also impact their balance. Once you have broken the guard of your opponents, you can finish them off with a powerful takedown. On the other hand, your enemy's attacks will also impact your own balance. Avoiding hits is an efficient way to quickly recover. In Sifu, the environment is an opportunity, allowing you to improvise and adapt to each situation. Create space to avoid being surrounded. Use everything at your disposal to prevail. Furniture, makeshift weapons, or anything that your enemies bring to the fight. Finally, if you find yourself with your back against the wall, focus is a powerful tool. It builds up as you fight and allows you to deliver precise and devastating blows. Do you have what it takes to know Kung Fu?